Hey, how you guys doing out there today? This is Stephen Jimenez from the Roto Beast team, and I'm here to present you our NFL Week 6 quarterback picks. Um, as always, if you want to watch our full video, please go um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, at Roto Beast. If you want to play the actual lineups that we're playing this weekend, um, please visit our website at www.rotobeast.net. Um, so, let's jump into the quarterbacks. Um, I'm going to start off, you know, I think this week is a week that you want to go in the middle tier. There's three middle tier guys that are all really, really good plays that I think you can go with cash or GPP wise. Um, but I, there's one guy I do like that's a little bit more expensive. I think he's a great GPP play. Um, that's going to be the GOAT, Tom Brady. Um, you know, the, he's going against the Jets. The Jets aren't a very good team. Um, you got the Patriots have the second highest implied total. Um, Tom Brady, he's had a couple rough weeks, so he's due for a monster. He's due for the monster game. We know how he rolls. And uh, now you got this stuff um, coming out, all this news saying that he has a sprained left shoulder and, you know, that's what's wrong with him and stuff. I don't buy it. It's not his throwing shoulder. I think he'll be fine. And I think he's going to have a monster game this week against the Jets. He's going to get back on track. Throw for, you know, three to four touchdowns. Um, I really like the combination with him and Hogan. Um, I really like them a lot this week for a GPP um, pairing to kind of get your lineup started. Um, but, yeah, if you're going to pay up a little bit, I mean, you could look at Tom Brady for GPP. Um, but let me get to the guys who I think are all, you know, cash game consideration. They're all GPP consideration. They have the upside. Um, we'll start with the middle tier guys. Um, you know, I really like Watson. He's going against the Browns. Um, you know, the Texans have a third highest implied total. Um, Watson is just coming into this game on fire. He has nine touchdowns in the last two games. Um, we can't expect that to be sustain uh, sustainable, but I mean, I could see him throwing for another three touchdowns. Hopkins getting one. Um, I really like that combination this week for cash games. I think that's a juicy um, core to start with. Um, and then the Browns, they have a 28th overall defense. They're 31st versus the pass, so they're not very good versus the pass. They're dead last, 32nd in the league versus covering wide receiver ones. Hopkins, oh, I think this is going to be a great spot for both of them, and I really like Watson this week. I think he's going to be the top um, quarterback. Um, you know, also he leads the league with 179 rushing yards as a quarterback. Um, you know, we like those extra rushing yards from the quarterback that gets us an extra, you know, extra three to four points. Um, you know, we want that for sure. That helps his uh, floor rise a little bit. Um, so I do like Hopkins a lot. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Watson a lot. Um, to be paired with Hopkins. Um, so next we'll go to uh, Kirk Cousins. Um, he's in a great matchup. He's going against the 49ers. Um, you got the Redskins. They have the fourth highest implied total of the week. Um, you know, last week 49ers got torched by Brissett for 314 yards um, from the Colts. And that guy, he's, I mean, he's a decent quarterback. He's more of a running quarterback. He's not a throwing quarterback. So for him to throw that many yards, it's kind of like, whoa, you know, how bad are the 49ers against the pass? Kirk Cousins has showed us he likes to sling the ball around. Um, you know, the guy's a great quarterback, um, and I definitely think he's going to light it up this week and have a great week. Um, 49ers, they have a 25th overall defense. They're 26th in the league versus pa um, versus the pass. Um, and the 49ers have allowed the fifth most um, yards from scrimmage to any, um, of any team. So you got to like Cousins a lot. I like his floor. I like his ceiling. Um, you know, we've seen Cousins go off and throw for four touchdowns multiple times before. Um, so you got to like Cousins this week. Um, and, you know, they had a bye week this week, so he got some extra practice with his receivers and his tight ends. So, um, you know, you can look for Cousins to have a good game. And my last quarterback I'm going to talk about, and I don't know how I'm saying this, but, I mean, it makes absolute sense. Um, Alex Smith. The guy just, he's the number one fantasy quarterback right now um, in the league this year so far through five games. I mean, come on. Uh, seriously. I mean, how are we going to continue to avoid him? He's at home this week going against Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's coming off that bad loss um, to the Jacksonville Jaguars, and Big Ben looked bad. So you know he's going to work hard to try to, um, you know, turn things around this week. You know, that guy, he's proven that he's a winner. Um, so this game could stay close. Um, Alex Smith uh, and the Chiefs are four and a half uh, f uh, favorite. So, um, you know, I think this game could definitely get into a shootout. Alex Smith has three great, uh, great weapons. You know, he has Hunt. Um, he has Hill, and then hopefully Kels is back this week from, um, you know, from concussion protocol. Um, you know, the guy, he's just been good. He has, he's passing 70, he's, he's um, completing 75% of his passes. Um, I mean, 
you got to like Alex Smith. He gives you a solid floor, and he also runs a little bit as well. So and that's kind of where I'm at for my quarterbacks this week. I like Tom Brady for GPP only. Um, then you got the middle tier. All three guys are in great matchups. You got Watson versus the Browns. Cousins versus the 49ers and Smith versus Pittsburgh. Um, although I would say Watson is probably my favorite. Um, you know, all three of them can have very good weeks this week. And so um, I'll be back a little bit later with my running back video. Um, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. Um, you know, leave a comment below if you have questions about a certain player or something that I said. And we can discuss it a little bit more. And um, I'll talk to you a little bit later, all right? Take care.